be sure that we're not knocked to the ground because if we're knocked to the ground we haven't lost a battle but we're losing <coughs> we want to try to maintain our feet and the reason we want to maintain our feet is so that we can uh, escape if we have to but also we can move from them if we have to we can move side to side forwards or backwards and we can also communicate at the same time I want everyone to cross their hands in the chest okay I want to show how simple it is to defeat you. I'm going to defeat every one of you with two fingers. Does anyone not believe me besides you? <laughs> <laughs> two fingers. Watch me defeat her. Are you ready? See how easily she gets pushed over just with two fingers? A little harder. Okay? A little harder. Always like a rock now. It's unbelievable. Okay? Let's see how the ball, see the balance? Now, see the balance? See how it's a lot harder to push him off his feet, isn't it? Just by the simple step back, it's a little bit more difficult. How's she doing? She looks pretty good. So she she's in, in a good position to deal with that irate patient. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. How's that? Now, if if you if you lean back on your back foot, you can be pushed off your feet. What would a boxer do? If a boxer's lining up someone, what does he do? He, he keeps them right in front of him, doesn't he? Point control. Yeah. And he's so I'm staying basically. If I'm staying on his railroad tracks, then I'm an easy target for him. Now, obviously, I want to do this in. Uh, it, I want to do it as simply as possible. I don't want to let him know that I'm, I'm protecting myself. I want to seem as natural as possible. I want to communicate, and I'm hoping that I can de-escalate him if he is escalated and give him the services that he needs from the hospital. But in this situation, he's escalated. He's getting very close to me, and I get nervous. So I want to get off the railroad tracks. I want to get a nice stance. I want my hands in the right position. And what may I do if I can get him to ground by sitting him in a chair? That would be the best thing for me to do, because then he's seated. He has less of an opportunity to attack me. Also, as he sits down, that takes away a lot of his emotion because anyone that's emotional is going to be up on their feet being very demonstrative. And having him sit in the seat is a very uh, critical factor. If I can get him to sit down and offer him to help him as much as I can, then I've hit a home run here with this guy because chances are he's going to de-escalate more easily. Sir, would you step over here and have a seat? Let me see if I can help you. Please, sit down. We're going to see if we can help you right away. Please, take a seat. Thank you. What would a boxer do? If a boxer's lining up someone, what does he do? He, he keeps them right in front of him, doesn't he? Point control. Yeah, and he's, so I'm staying, basically, if I'm staying on his railroad tracks, then I'm an easy target for him. Now, obviously, I want to do this in, uh, I want to do it as simply as possible. I don't want to let him know that I'm, I'm protecting myself. I want to seem as natural as possible. I want to communicate, and I'm hoping that I can de-escalate him if he is escalated and give him the services that he needs from the hospital. But in this situation, he's escalated, and he's getting very close to me, and I get nervous, so I want to get off the railroad tracks, I want to get a nice stance, I want my hands in the right position, and what may I do if I can get him to ground by sitting him in a chair, that would be the best thing for me to do, because then he's seated, he has less of an opportunity to attack me. Also, as he sits down, that takes away a lot of his emotion, because anyone that's emotional is going to be up on their feet being very demonstrative. And Having him sit in the seat is a very uh, critical factor. If I can get him to sit down and offer him to help him as much as I can, then I've hit a home run here with this guy because chances are he's going to de-escalate more easily. Sir, would you step over here and have a seat? Let me see if I can help you. Please, sit down. We're going to see if we can help you right away. Unless, uh, only as a last resort because if I raise my voice, what happens to him? I'm, again, I'm fighting emotion with emotion. We don't want to fight emotion with emotion. If I'm dealing with this person, sir, I understand that you're upset and that you haven't been seen yet, and we're going to see we can do the best we can do to get a doctor to see you at this time. Uh, if you would cooperate with me and take a seat, I'm going to go in and see what the waiting time is here in the emergency department, and I'll do my best to see that you're seen immediately. Are you satisfied with that? That's what they told me last time. Okay. Well, I'm going to do my best. That was yesterday. Okay. They told me the day before yesterday, same thing. Well, <laughs> sir, I'd like to ask you a question. I've been there I, every day this week. They I'm tell here. me the same thing. I would like you to, to take me as my person, because you didn't deal with me yesterday, and take me at my word, have a seat, and I'll help you the best I can. So would you do that for me now? 